Hey guys, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today I'm going to show you how to properly factory reset and wipe your Galaxy S3 smartphone. So if you look at one of my previous videos, I show you how to uh, wipe the micro SD card. You can do that on the phone or uh, you can take the card out and do it on a computer. And now I'm going to show you two methods uh, on how to wipe your Galaxy S3. Uh, so method one uh, will be straight through in the settings menu. And method two is a little bit different. It's it's gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to do it through the hardware by holding down a, a variation of buttons and letting go, and I'll guide you through the whole process. Uh, so let's start with method one, and this is the easiest one. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to grab your phone, go into settings, uh, and you, you see all the settings are here. I'll start from the top, make it easier. You see wireless and networks, device, uh, personal. So once you get to personal, you go to backup and reset. Uh, and down here you have your personal data and it's right here you see factory uh, factory data reset and that's what you want to hit so it's going to tell you right now I'll read it to you all data will be erased from USB storage including your Google account system and application data settings and download applications music photos other user data uh, that it has some stuff for decrypting on the SD card uh, so this is, going to wipe out, this is all my accounts all my Gmail Twitter uh, quick chat on Samsung account, this thing will uh, erase everything. So you really want to make sure you have everything backed up first before you do this. Uh, and I can show you, Google does a great job of backing up right in here, back up and reset. Make sure you have these two boxes set anytime you're using any type of Android uh, Android phone. Uh, this will keep all your, uh, all your Google data backed up nice and safe. Uh, so let's go back into factory data reset. And down here you have the button down here, reset device. It's going to ask you to confirm your PIN. Uh, I showed you in a previous video how to set up that PIN. So mine's just four zeros. You know, don't use that PIN. It's not that safe. And you'll come to an option that says uh, delete all. So once you push uh, this delete all button, uh, you know, all your data will be gone. Uh, I'm not going to push it right now because I'm now going to show you the second way of, uh, of doing it. Uh, so what we're going to have to do first is power down the phone because it does require the phone to be off. So let's power down real quick. So once that's off, now I can go ahead and show you how to get this done. So now we're going to attempt to do method two of the data wipe, and this will require you to do uh, to use some hardware buttons. And I can show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to hold the volume up button over here, uh, the power button, and the home button all at the same time. Right? I'm not going to do it right now. And then once you hear the once you feel the phone vibrate, that's going to turn on. Immediately release release the power button but continue to hold the home button and the volume up key. Uh, so I'm going to show you what exactly happens right now when you do that and you come to this cool little menu. Uh, not too many people know this is one way of resetting, of formatting your device. You know, if you can't get into your device because you bricked it or you tried to root it or something, this is a great, uh, a great method to uh, wipe, wipe your phone clean of all the data. So let's try it right now. I'm going to hold down all these at the same time. You felt it, you hear it buzz, let go. You see that blue little thing in the corner light up. You see the Galaxy S3 logo. And then once you see, there you go, you see the Android. A uh, little death signal. So this is manual mode. Uh, and then you'll come to a menu up here. I'm going to show you that menu up there. If you can see it, I'll read it. You might not be able to see it. Uh, reboot system now. Uh, apply update from AOB. Apply update from external storage. Uh, wipe data factory reset, that's the one you want. Wipe cache partition, uh, apply update from the cache. Uh, so to, na to navigate this little menu right here, you're going to have to use the volume up and down key. So let's go ahead and select wipe data factory reset. You can see that. Uh, we're all good to go. And then to select it, you will select with, with the power button. Uh, so let's try that. So now you're going to come to another option. 
Uh, it says confirm wipe of all user data. It cannot be undone. You really want to make sure. So there's a bunch of no's and then there's a yes. It's the fourth one from the bottom. I can show you that. So you'll use the volume button again. We're doing yes, delete all your user data. So here we go, folks, this is it. My phone is getting completely wiped and I'm gonna push the power button again and off we go. So you can see it says wiping data, formatting data down here. And let's let that go for a little. So we got a menu that popped up. Uh, Android system recovery menu, wiping data, formatting data, data wipe complete. Uh, so it was pretty fast. Honestly, I didn't have that much stuff on here because it's this is not my uh, my full time phone. Uh, so let's we're gonna select to reboot the system now with the power button, of course. There it goes, it's powering back on. So like I said, you can use either method to, uh, to, wipe, to wipe the data, uh, the in-menu me in method or the hardware key method. So now our phone should be back to, uh, to all the factory settings, like a, almost like a brand new phone. And this is really what you wanna do uh, before you send uh, your device off to Gazelle. Uh, we do wipe all the data for you as well, but uh, it's always good to know that you uh, took care of all the data and wiped everything clean so none of your personal information is out there. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to wipe your Galaxy S3. Uh, method one, uh, inside the phone software, and method two is using uh, the hardware keys. Uh, thanks.